I'm Gray, and this is Hub Guitar. I'm here to tell you about the Tech Pick by Dunlop. Um, this pick is pretty neat. This particular one is made of brass, but they also come in aluminum. Uh, and I have to say that when I first uh, thought about using this pick, I was a little bit put off of putting metal on metal. I thought, that, well, that's going to wear the strings out. And uh, I think most people will tell you, yeah, if you play with a particularly hard pick, like one that's made out of metal, it's probably going to wear your strings out a little bit faster than normal. Keep that in mind as a concern. But as for the price of the pick, I think this one was around, I think you can get like a 12 pack for 20 bucks, so they're not super expensive. I think I ordered this one individually for around eight or 10 bucks. So they're not super expensive, but they're, they're definitely not cheap. But being made out of solid metal, it's, it's probably not gonna wear one bit at all for a long time, so that's kind of cool. I do like the three holes that are drilled into the top. I think that's a neat touch and you could easily string a shoelace through there and keep it around your neck as an emergency pick so it's kind of neat making it kind of a cool gift to give somebody. When you pick it up it's kind of cold in the hands. I mean metal is uh, pretty conductive so as soon as you hold it for a few minutes it, starts, it warms up a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of strumming and a little bit of lead for you. I'm going to show you some open chords. I teach guitar so I can say that most uh, players, if I were to stick a metal guitar pick in their hand, they probably wouldn't get that result. I think most people, especially beginners, will grip the pick a little bit hard and, it's, and so if you're one of those and you're just starting out and uh, I, I, don't, I really probably wouldn't recommend a metal pick for you because you need to learn to hold it kind of nice and loosely uh, to get that relaxed tone out of it because of course it's being metal it's very very stiff. And also for chords, I, I probably don't really like playing chords with it that much. I mean, I can, but it's not, it's not my favorite pick for that. I do like to play lead lines with it. And I was actually very surprised when I played lead with it. I was expecting something totally different. I was expecting a lot of sort of friction between uh, the pick and the string or something like that. It's made out of metal. And I was surprised that the, the shape of this metal, and perhaps it's something to do with the bevel or the, or the manufacturer or the craftsmanship, but uh, somehow it, it really glides right over those strings. But being made out of brass, it has a considerable amount of heft, which, you know, it's very heavy, so it kind of is even easier to drive it up and down over the strings. And then because it's smooth on the surface, it kind of glides right across them. So it's got some pretty interesting properties for playing lead guitar. So I actually liked it a lot for playing melodies. Uh, I still didn't end up playing with it a whole lot just because I was afraid of wearing out my strings, but I may even be wrong about that. Uh, I did like it for lead, and uh, I do carry this pick with me most places. This is the perfect pick to put in your wallet. Uh, it's not brittle, it's not sensitive to heat, so you can just stick it in your wallet and, and save it for emergencies. You can thread a string through it and wear it around your neck, so it's a really cool kind of backup option, emergency survival guitar pick, so I love it for that reason. And then the question, would I buy it again? I think I probably would. I think it's a really great pick and it's one of my, my favorites in my collection. So I normally carry it with me. So that's the Tech Pick by Dunlop. Check it out.